Uh, this gentleman is going to heal the world with his book. I think. I don't know. This book seems quite, uh, this show, this movie. Andre. Andre Amarov. A-M-A-R-O-V has something called Shell Shock Linguist. Unravels Global Conspiracy in Sci-Fi Thriller. Symphony of Shadows. However, in here, I see some good news. But that good news could possibly not be good news. But the good news was like hope and could heal the world. And that was a nice word. And Andre, I know. Hi, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning, Paul. And uh, I'm, I'm great. How about yourself? And thank you very much for having me. Well, I'm happy to have an opportunity to share the good things you're doing with our uh, community. So tell us about this and uh, some background on yourself. Well, uh, I, uh, I'm based in New York City. Um, I've been living in New York for the past 10 years. I am from Paris myself. I am a linguist. I speak four languages. Uh, I have two businesses in New York City. One is a, it's a French school uh, online, teaching you know the French language to kids, young adults, corporations, uh, diplomats, and so forth. And the, the, the second one, it's, uh, it's a business that is uh, producing films, storytelling. And I, I really want to bring something, I think, that is kind of missing uh, nowadays in, in filmmaking. I think it's the heart. Uh, I think we see, you know, films with great technology, great acting. But I think one element, I think, is really missing uh, on a global scale. I, I think it's the heart. Uh, uh, hope and, and unity in a world, I think, that is, you know, you have to be honest, I think pretty much fractured in a way. I put up a heart. The heart, the heart, you know, the peace, the heart, you know, the respect, you know, uh, all those values, I think, that you also share. Uh, by far. Where, in fact, my movie that I am uh, working on getting out this year, even though I started in 1989, uh, is called Woodstock Forever, Peace, Love, and Hope. Um, yes, I and I. That's a movie about doing Woodstock, the twentieth anniversary here in Central Park, but ending up doing it in Times Square, and uh, with some of the original people. And uh, yeah, I'm dedicated to pausing the world for peace. And you know, our audience knows, you know, our good news broadcast. So yes, but tell us about. Uh, um, so the the book, uh, it's a book, it's a movie, it, it'll be both, it'll be a stage show. What's the dream? Well, the, the dream, that's a very, very good question. The dream, it's, it's really about making a film that has a very strong potential for sequels. Uh, we were planning to shoot the film in New York City. Uh, why New York City? Uh, because I, I do believe that New York City is the Babylon of the 21st century. You have pretty much all the nations uh, in New York. And I think what, what's happening in New York City is pretty much resonating internationally. And, and, uh, and the cast that we have for this uh, future film that can also be potentially, based on the feedbacks that I get from people, a show... But I myself see, you know, this as a, as a feature-length film with potential of sequels and 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 and, and elements that, that can be happening in, in different environments and different cities. It starts in New York City. We have an international cast. We have a Caucasian. We have a um, you know an, an African lead. We have a Chinese uh, also lead. And, and and again, as I said, it's really about bringing people all together. Uh, uh, with uh, a narration, with a story, you know, uh, that uh, I, I think it's, it's pretty effective uh, to, to reach a global audience uh, with bringing awareness uh, on, on, on elements that we're tackling within the film, uh, such as su such social injustices. Uh, I think the, the migrant crisis also, since it's happening in New York City, which is a you know, big thing locally, but also nationally and internationally. So the film really, I think, has a strong resonance with key elements uh, that are happening uh, in, in on mainstream media, because pretty much what we gathered within the film, it's pretty much what has been happening, you know, for the past years 
and I think the audience and people read in, in, in newspapers. I think, you know, stories are pretty much out there. And, and, uh, and again, you know, I might repeat myself, but I think the key element of the film is really about bringing the heart because, uh, because we need it. You know, we're social animals and I, and I, I love AI. I think, you know, it's a very interesting time that we're living in. Uh, but I do believe also uh, in, in some ways we're also disconnected. We're hyper-connected thanks to technology uh, and thanks to AI, but also uh, I sense, you know, kind of disconnection uh, between people. And, uh, and I think we, we need to go back to the foundation, which is, I think, love, peace and respect. Well, I'm all in favor of that. I'm, uh, uh, you know, we've always had, uh, well, we've always had uh, media technology, you know, that has has uh, occurred over the years. And I think sometimes people forget that uh, reality, you know, uh, uh, we started off in uh, being, a, this is my field after 50 plus years of communications industry and a master's, which is uh, in the communications which helped me understand communications. Man, communications is a very interesting subject. Um, you know, yeah. you sort of have to go back to uh, when people, you know, living in caves and, uh, and uh, drawing on the cave, you know, and that became a form of, uh, I mean, somebody could have called that AI, okay? <laughs> what, are, what are you doing, okay? I had a, 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 I interviewed Dan from Dan's paper in, in, in Long Island, and he said, uh, I asked him, you know, so how did you start Dan's papers? And Dan said, well, I was on the beach and I took two stones and I was rubbing them together. And, uh, you know, that's how Dan's papers began. OK, and then, you know, what we got this thing called the radio and then we got this thing called the television. And then we got this thing called the, the cellular phone and blah, 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 blah. You know, I kind of think it's a it's a uh, um, it's a rollout on any communications opportunity. And I, I, I'm including AI as one of our communications tools, potentially. And we'll need to learn how to live with it because there's a lot of people that want to utilize it. And just like everything, and just like in your, if I understand your movie, you know, there's the potential, this is the potential to cause a war or to not cause a war. A newspaper caused World War I with the heading, you know, these guys did this and these guys did that, whether it was so or not. We don't understand these things, communication. So I just throw in my two my communications commentary because I think that uh, you have a very good synopsis. Tell us Thank the you. synopsis of your of your book, of your movie. Okay. What is the synopsis? So, so that's a very good, you know, uh, point and question. So the, the film, it, it starts, it's a, it's a linguist that is partially working at, at, at the UN. He's a UN envoy, and he's also teaching languages in New York City, you know, to, to make the ends meet. Uh, and uh, it, it, it's, um, th there is a, a, a global, I would say, conspiracy that is unraveled within the film. That's a, the entertaining, entertainment, uh, entertaining, excuse me, aspect of the film. Uh, you you have uh, an object that uh, is discovered through uh, the lead, which is Christian, uh, by the a migrant uh, that they just you know uh, stumble upon each other uh, at the beginning of of the of, of the film. And uh, the object uh, is, uh, I would say, the MacGuffin, as uh, Alfred Hitchcock, you know, used to say, is the catalyst of the, the film, and it's also another protagonist. Uh, the object is very interesting because you have, you have a lot of science also in the film, and there is something that I will be also discussing. It's about frequencies. I do believe that we are frequencies, we're energy and vibration, and the object uh, has a potential to heal, to heal the world, to heal people, to cure cancer, to cure diseases. Do it, and... do it, do it. No, no, 
Yeah. No, but, but that's I think it's not, but it, because it, it's it's really related to science. If you read, you know, the, and listen to the right people, it just it's facts. It's just proven, you know, and uh, uh, and also the object has the potential to 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 uh, to block to broke excuse me the world further. So this kind of you know there is a the way we crafted it. There is a dark society which is the entertainment you know aspect of it that is trying to get hold on this object that is a key for for them for their agenda so it starts in new york city and it's also discussing an element i think is very interesting also it's about what is fate what is causality right cause and effect and what is free will uh that's also also a, a key element within the within the film excuse me but you have this kind of triangle. You have uh, Christian, you have Joachim, and you have Liu, you know, this kind of international cast. And you have this stone thrown out there, you know, uh, name it, you know, causality, uh, name it fate. Uh, the audience might discover this within the film, but it's really about how uh, a commoner, how a pedestrian, or how just a a normal person can thrive and become a hero. And I think that's, I think, a key element uh, for every one of us because we have power, you know, within the, ourselves and thrown in, uh, in, into the unknown. Uh, the protagonist within the film will be challenged, will be uh, uh, changed, you know, and will be, be becoming something else and some, somebody else. And I think this is the, the trajectory of people, usually when they fight for their ideas, when they fight for uh, uh, the, the common good. And uh, the, the, um, yeah, so the, the story, you know, the synopsis, it's about a linguist that is unraveling a, a global conspiracy through a, a, a cryptic device that is able to mend uh, uh, a fractured world, you know, uh, or... Uh, I would say uh, destroyed further, you know, because of this uh, agenda of this conspiracy. I love it. I love it. Okay. Well, Steven Spielberg did okay uh, with Indiana Jones. <laughs> I think he was a, and you know these things also have the opportunity for somebody to to watch and see and to think and maybe come up with a discovery that can heal the world. Um, and so, and that's what we're that's what we're banking on. That's why we're doing this interview. Something within this will get some young person, you're going to tip off somebody's mind, and that mind is going to think of something that's going to uh, possibly make some major changes on Mother Earth. So you keep it up. How do people keep uh, uh, following you and, uh, and the progress of the, uh, of the project? Well, uh, um, people can um, contact us if they would like to have more information you know about the project and also to be part of the project because we you know we're, we're doing casting we we bringing partners within uh the film uh to, to to move further you know in in the in the production process well i would say by by phone you know people can uh reach out you know at two one two four seven zero two one two eight that's my cell and that's my uh also online and also by email uh personal email it's andre a n d r e i dot amarov a m a r o v at gmail.com and yeah if people can call or, or email us and we'll be very happy to uh, uh to initiate a conversation and see how we we could you know maybe potentially uh, collaborate together all right andre congratulations i'm uh I'm happy for you. A good guy. We've spoken before, and uh, uh, I wish you all the best. If there's something I, I can help out with, you know, if you're, uh, you know, in the last moment you need a balding older seventy-five year old uh, into in the movies, you know, just throw me right in. Uh, <laughs> well, thank you very much, Paul. Merci. <laughs> Merci, Monsieur. Au revoir. All right, we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye.